welcome to a new vlog. I'm laughing right now because on the podcast, I think it was last week, last week, it was like month, it was like a month ago, maybe like three weeks ago. I don't remember. I was saying how I'm not a Target girl. Like I don't go to Target and s people always be like, you know, you walk into Target and it tells you what you need. Like I've never felt like that. I just go into Target. If I have a list of things I need to get, like paper towels, whatever, I will go into Target, get what I need and go home. Like. I don't, I don't know. It just has never been like my fun place that I like to go and shop at. And then I went today, just, just now. I spent like $150 and I was like, how did I spend that much money? And then I was like, I think I understand what the Target girlies are saying now. Like you go in there for one thing and you just end up getting a ton of stuff. Maybe I'm turning into a Target girly, I don't know. I just got back from a walk with Caitlin. It was so nice. We just went and we went to a coffee shop and then we went on a walk. I don't know how long that walk is that we went on, but probably like a mile or something. But it was so nice. I was just talking about on TikTok how I want to just get out more and do stuff. And I feel like I've been talking about that a lot probably on like the podcast and on YouTube too. But that's kind of been my goal for the summer is to just like get outside and do things. Which, yeah, that's simple and I'm sure a lot of people want to do that. But I feel like specifically I have been in my house a lot recently and I'm feeling very like stagnant. You know when you your body and just your life feels very stagnant? Like nothing's, I don't know, progressing or exciting like because you're just like in the same place. I feel like every day I just have the same routine and I just want to switch it up more and get outside and do different things. Oh, after we went on the walk, we went to an estate sale too which was cute, I got a couple things. But it's just fun to do like spontaneous stuff, you know? We're leaving to Utah very soon for a family reunion and we're gonna be there for like five days, which I feel like is kind of long. Like the family reunion itself is like five days. It's on a lake and I think it'll be fun, but it's actually not supposed to be super warm. It's like kind of gonna be cold. So I don't know, I don't know what the vibe is. I need to look at the weather but because I need to pack soon. For um, my trip, I got this little like squeezy bottle thing to put my self tanning lotion in. I have like the Lux Unfiltered uh, tanning lotion and I wanna put it in this so that I can travel with it and not have to bring the huge like tube of it just to like touch up self tanner if I want to while I'm there. I also got these claw clips because I had probably this exact set. I don't know where either of them went, but I like kind of the old like 90s vibe of these clips. I got Leif some deodorant. This is the kind he wanted. Floss, because we were out of it. This is the cleanser that I've been using and I'm almost out, so I re-upped on that. More flossers. Purple eyeliner. This is where I'm like, why did, like, I wasn't planning on buying this, but I just liked the color and thought it would be cute. You know, maybe Target was telling me what I needed, who knows. That's pretty much it. I also got like uh, more of my Curology. This is like the cream moisturizer, so it's a little thicker. Oh, a bug just went on my nose. Aquaphor. I actually am not an Aquaphor girly. I am more of a Vaseline girly, but I think that this just looks nice to have on hand, like chapstick. I have a lot of like uh, lip glosses and like balms, but not a lot of chapstick. So I think I want to take this to Utah in case my lips are getting dry. Hair ties, you know the drill. That's basically it. Okay, for all of my skincare girlies, this is a very exciting product that I think you will really love. This is a new Ritual product, which you guys know I love Ritual so much, been using them for years and been working with them for years. All of their stuff is like great quality, made traceable, all of that good stuff, but they just launched ingestible skincare. So this is called their Hyacera and it's daily skin hydration in the form of a supplement. And this is so genius. This is what the capsule looks like. You just take one of these a day with or without food. It kind of has like a vanilla aftertaste and like flavor. It just is super easy to take, smells nice. This is to enhance your skincare routine from the inside out. I also have sensitive skin and I'm prone to breakouts, so I am very wary of like trying new products for skin stuff, especially that I'm putting on my skin. So I feel like this is also kind of nice because it's again working from the inside out for the glow and all that instead of risking putting like a cream on my face that'll make me break out or something. Something else that's cool about Ritual is that they do a lot of like clinical studies to show what their products can actually do. So this um, supplement has two of the best clinically studied ingredients to help minimize wrinkles and hydrate your skin. 
I think one of the best things in the world, one of the best feelings, by the way, the sun just like went away. Could you guys see that? It was, the sun was finally out, I was so happy, and then now it's like cloudy again. Anyway, one of the best feelings in the world to me is having skin that glows. Like, there is nothing that helps my confidence more personally than when I'm having just like clear glowing skin. And so anything that's going to help me get to that point, especially working things from the inside out, because I do believe that our skin is so much more than just what we put on it like topically. I absolutely love that they came out with this product. I feel like you guys will love it. And you know, this could be like the missing skincare step that you need that you didn't know you needed. So of course I have a promo code for you guys. It's JCM20 for 20 percent off your first month I have like a link to that I'll put in the description that you guys can check out if you're interested but if you're trying to get your glowing skin on for summer I highly recommend I just love ritual in general I feel like they really have simplified supplements and they're super always super easy to take because they just have like good aftertaste and the branding is really nice I just love everything about it so definitely check that out if you guys are interested and huge thank you to ritual for sponsoring this video guys lastly I'm in my orange era. I ordered this phone case from Amazon. I have had this like a light pink one on. You guys have maybe seen it in my vlogs, but I just ordered this orange one because it was just calling my name. So I actually ordered a few more. I Oh, this is the pink one. It's literally right next to me. This is the one that I used to have on my phone and I just felt like spicing it up. But these are so nice on Amazon. Maybe I can find a link for you guys because they come in a ton of different colors and the quality has like been great for me and I just like them, they're simple and they're cheap. I need to start kind of getting packed for my trip or figure out what I wanna take with me. So I'm gonna go do that. Let's get ready for the day. It is so gloomy here and the sun hasn't been out for like weeks. It, it will sometimes, it came out yesterday for like an hour. I immediately went on a walk because I was like, oh, sunshine. But you've probably seen everyone if you follow <laughs> other people who live in Southern California complaining about this because it's just been really gloomy. My point for saying that is I feel like I am not in summer clothes in summer mode because it's kind of like chilly and gloomy right now. This has been my go-to makeup for the past like two months and I do feel like there's a few new things. Do you hear how like liquidy that is? This has been like my favorite product, but recently it's been like kind of watery. Like sometimes when I, do you see that? You see the literal water droplet? Why is it separating? And I read on Sephora, so this is like, okay, goodbye. Okay, so it's like a tinted sunscreen. Do you see this literal water running down my face? It like separates, I guess, in here, but like I've been shaking it up a ton when I was buying my second one on Sephora because the other color I have is like a little too light. And when I was buying the second shade, a lot of the reviews were like, this is the best product, but like it separates after you have it for a month and then it's like all watery. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And and then now it's happening to me. So I understand what they're talking about. But I've been putting this glow screen golden hour. It's like a darker shade, kind of to act as some color for my skin, especially for the summertime. But I feel like this combo gives like a glowy, nice coverage without being too, too crazy. I've been using this stuff like every single day. I posted about it a while ago. I've been working with Fenty for a little bit now, but it's the Fenty Poutsicle, and it's kind of like the Benetint, but basically it's a lip tint, and you put it on your lips, you let it sit there. Did I? Goodbye to that. And then you wipe it off with like some toilet paper, and it just tints your lips. And my lips are like literally colorless. I've thought about getting lip blushing done, but... Haven't pulled the trigger. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's just kind of nice to have like a tint on your lips that lasts a long time. I'm trying to live my, you know, California summer, like we were mentioning on the podcast, but this gloomy weather I think is adding to my FOMO of people being in like really beautiful, like traveling right now basically, because it's already June. I'm trying to embrace the summer vibes, but when it's gloomy, that's hard. So when I'm seeing everyone in Europe, in Italy, and by everyone, I just mean a lot of the people I follow. Like I feel like a lot of girls that I follow are literally in Italy for like weeks right now. 
and it just looks so nice to be in sunshine with a cold drink by the sea. Anyway, I'm trying not to get FOMO, but happens to the best of us, right? Favorite part forever and always of my makeup routine is bronzing and blush. The serotonin that this process gives me is unlike anything else. I cannot believe that I did this because I really wanted to wear this sweatshirt today and now I feel like I need to try and get this stain out. This is a different, this is Pink Gasm Sunset by Charlotte Tilbury. It's like a different shade than I, I think I normally just use the Pink Gasm one, but the Sunset one's like a little bit more red, kind of reddish pink, but I like it. I feel like it works well with my skin tone. I am gonna double up on some blush. Why? Because I feel like it. 24 hour brow setter. I don't think I wanna do any eye makeup today. I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I have been um, using brown mascara, which is really cute, but I just don't feel like wearing it today, honestly. It is time for some freckles and lip gloss. So this, this is the um, Freck is the brand, I think, right? It's just called Freck XL. And you just put a bunch of dots. I did enough on the side. And you just literally tap like this to add some little freckles to your life. And you can add them like all over. Like sometimes I'll put them up here and down here too, but we're keeping it simple. Lip gloss, Pat McGrath. I love this lip gloss so much. And there is the everyday makeup. Where is my little setting spray? Over here. I take this little Charlotte Tilbury like setting spray. Awesome. We knew that was gonna happen now, didn't we? Then I usually take this like fluffy brush and kind of just do this to set everything in. Sometimes I'll put powder if I'm looking like too oily. I don't really have oily skin though. I have dry skin. So like I like having a glow to my skin because it's not naturally like that. But sometimes I'll do some powder on like my chin and my forehead and then just keep the parts that are supposed to be glowy. You know, the, the cheekbones and the nose glowy, but I'm feeling good about this this summer look. So those have been kind of my go-to products for the summer. And when I do that lip tint, I don't really have to do like a color or a lipstick on my lips. I'll usually just put gloss over it. But sometimes throughout the day, if it fades, like I'll add lip liner or gloss, just depends on what I'm feeling like. I probably have to go change now because of this, or I need to try and wash this out because I hope it doesn't stain. This is a new really cute sweatshirt from um, Mayfair and they just sent it to me. The back is really, really cute. It has like an angel on it. And then it has this on the sleeve. It has like a bunch of angel numbers. Oh cool, don't worry, I got something right there too. I think that was from my like skin tint thing that was exploding. I used my Dyson Airwrap yesterday and I feel like when I do not have extensions, it doesn't really hold a curl, but it does give me more volume and I like the way like my bangs look and stuff with it. So I think it's worth it to do it. Although like look at my the ends of my hair, like they're not in a blowout or anything. They're kind of just straight. I don't know, my hair is just very fine and it like doesn't hold volume very well, but oh well. So there's this place that um, advertises that it's like a butcher shop, like a meat place, but they will do sandwiches. They make sandwiches. We've never had one and I have probably called them. How many times do you think we've called them at this point? <clears throat> They would say that they do sandwiches on the weekends, okay? We've wanted them since... October? Yeah, like September, October. So basically we saw this butcher shop and it was like, we do sandwiches on the weekends. We're like, oh, we should go get sandwiches, that'd be fun. And so we went in physically one time, like to the place and they're like, oh, sorry, we're out of like our sandwich stuff right now. We're not making sandwiches. And we've been in physically multiple other times. Like, hey, are you guys doing sandwiches today? 
Like, so sorry, no, because of like Thanksgiving, that was one of the reasons. Because of Thanksgiving, they were doing a lot of turkeys. We were not doing Santa Fe's. We're like, okay. And then it was like near the holidays, and they're like, because of the holidays, and then it was near New Year's, then it was Super Bowl. Like, I'm telling you, they've had like an excuse every time we've called. They're like, sorry, not today. So I was just saying to Leif, I'm gonna call them and see if they're doing sandwiches right now because it's it's the weekend. So let's see. Hi, are you guys doing sandwiches right now? We are not today, but tomorrow and next week, Wednesday through Sunday, we are. The um, boys just called out. We had two guys call out today, so okay. Uh, I don't have any bread, but uh, besides that, we are back up and running with them. Okay, so on tomorrow you will be making sandwiches then. Tomorrow we'll have them, and then Wednesday through Sunday next week. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Maybe tomorrow's the day. Maybe tomorrow's our lucky day. But not today. Not today. They called out. Home sweet home. I got a hojicha latte with oat milk. Blue bottles is my favorite, and then they discontinued it. This one is decent. It's, a, it's from a different coffee shop, but honestly, it's not... It's nothing to write home about. We'll see when I find my new favorite, hojicha latte. But it's basically like roasted green tea and it has no caffeine. So it kind of tastes like matcha if you haven't had it. It's really good. Here's my little OOTD in case you care. I'm wearing the Lululemon Align like or shorts and just this Aritzia top. I have this sweatshirt on, but guess what? The sun came out. As I was complaining all day, the sun randomly came out and it's been nice and sunny and warm for the past hours so we went to this coffee shop and sat down at like by the window and let the sun hit our faces we got some uh, sandwiches so we're gonna eat some lunch and then I don't know what here is the sandwich that I got it's like a basically a turkey sandwich with some onion tomato lettuce sprout things cheese it's really good guess what sandwich I got uh, are they supposed to guess or am I supposed to guess so I already know a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> you know, I've never had a tuna melt in my whole life. You're missing out. Something about the coloring of this is making your skin <laughs> look like... <laughs> this is my vlog now. Do the peeps know I've been a little bit sick? Mm -mm. Yeah, I've been a little bit sick lately. jc has been taking care of me. She's been awesome. It sounds like you're being I sarcastic. I sound sarcastic, but mm -hmm. I'm not. Same with Lady. I was literally in bed all day yesterday and she was in bed with me all day. I would sleep, she would sleep. I'd chill, she'd chill. She follows our lead when we're sick. If I'm ever not feeling well, she just lays on the couch all day with me. I went out surfing. I think I got some sort of bug. Immediately was sick, like right after surfing. Mm -hmm. That was weird, actually. He came home from surfing and it was like your head. Like, well, oh, I hit my head kind of and I was like, geez. And he's like, I don't feel very good. From there it progressed to like, just having like a cold basically, like a, yeah, cold. But we're on the, the up and up. I would consider this a, like a tuna salad sandwich, not a tuna melt. There's still slaps. Do you know what I want to do? What, bro? Ew, ew, ew. Lake asked me if I would still like him if he said bra earlier today. And I said no. I want to do this. You're allowed to. I know. Sometimes I forget that. Gosh, I'm spilling everywhere. Maybe that's why you don't do that. Sometimes I forget that I live in my own house. And I'm an adult. And I can put my um, elbows on the table too if I want. I mean, my parents didn't really care if I did that, but we can make our own rules. I am going to a boxing class right now. I'm gonna film after. It is unlike any other workout I've ever experienced with how red and sweaty I get. It's crazy. Last time I was like, I literally look like I have like, I don't even know what. I was super, super red and puffy after my last boxing class. I've been eating this little cookie. It's like a plant-based sea salt chocolate chip kind of protein cookie. It has some protein in it. It's so good. 
It's ideally I would have it for like a dessert, but it was kind of just calling my name this morning I'm having a little pre-workout snack. We just got home from Utah last night I got this water bottle at the airport and then I just been refilling it I didn't vlog much of Utah just because we were with like we're at my family reunion pretty much the whole time We were just seeing family and friends. Yeah, I kind of just took a little break I, I recorded some fun camcorder clips and I recorded a lot on Something um, about me is TikTok. that I, I documented like kind of what we did every day But it was way, so but fun. It was so pretty and it was actually sunny and like it would get chilly at night But it was kind of warm in the daytime and it's as so freaking even though it sounds like take a, a shot subtle every time flex or something to be like gloomy I work here too much. it's been raining all morning i don't know if you can tell it doesn't even look that bad but you can see the raindrops and it's just super gray gloomy like literally no sun there's been no sun all leading up to like when we were leaving and we came home it was rainy we're like great it was like literally sunnier in utah which was kind of surprising to me anyway it was a really fun trip and i documented a lot of it on the tiki talk so if you guys want to see what we were up to in utah go there to see that and then i actually leave in just a few days for hawaii i'm going to hawaii with I was so shook when I got this email and I got invited to this like it's definitely kind of an imp imposter syndrome moment I think for me where I'm like wait you want me to come on the trip because there's not very many influencers going and I actually don't know who's going yet I asked for the guest list because like I don't know who I don't have a plus one for it so I'm going alone which is like out of my comfort zone for sure I think I've said before on here and you guys probably know like I actually don't go too many influencer events I feel like and I don't really get invited on brand trip like I haven't been on something like this in years my first instinct was honestly to say no just because I was like I don't know I'm scared like who's going yeah it's just gonna be like a really cool opportunity so I was like I really need to say yes even though maybe it's like a little outside of my comfort zone I'm going to Kauai and I'll definitely vlog specifically on TikTok I know I'm gonna be vlogging maybe on YouTube too I'm really excited for just that whole trip and it's gonna be alone like I'm flying alone life isn't coming with me or anything so it'll be fun It'll be exciting, something different. I brought these pants. I got this set from Revolve and it's like this kind of sparkly, like shimmery. These are the pants of it. Cause we're supposed to bring like some kind of, I think more elevated like dinner outfits. And so, well they said vacation chic. I don't really know exactly what that means. So I'm like, I don't know. This is really cute though. These, this set, it's like a kind of a structured top and then these cute pants and they're really comfy, but I need to get them hemmed cause they're really long and they'll be like dragging on the ground. And so I'm taking those to the tailor right after my boxing class and I'm hoping that she can get them done in the next two days. Cause I leave in three days. So, and it's like in the morning. So I really need them to get done. Hopefully she can do it fast. But anyway, I need to go in and get all set up. I actually forgot my what is it called? The things that go in your hands. It's like the easiest name. What the frick is it? Well, I forgot mine. So I'm probably gonna have to like buy new ones when I'm there. Or maybe I could borrow them and like, like rent them. I don't know. Not boxing gloves. That's not what I'm talking about. The like hand things that go. What is that called? Anyway, I was like running out the door trying to get, remember the pants and I have to bring like the shoes that I'm wearing for the pants. So I think I'm gonna wear these shoes with that outfit. I was just trying to remember. And the, oh wait, I need to put these shoes on. I'm literally in slippers right now and I brought these to work out in. So I need to put these on really quick. Even though my family reunion and like spending time in Utah was really fun, it was a full week and it was like there was quite literally like no moments where I was alone and even that me and Leif were alone like we were just with people 24 7 which is super fun but I'm just like tired now honestly just from socializing I am like ready to have some alone time and go punch a punching bag that sounds great to me oh I was also on my friend Haley's podcast while I was in Utah it's called girls camp she is just awesome I really love her I'd never met her in person we have some mutual friends and then I just followed her recently I'm super excited to be on her podcast I'll tell you guys when it's out I think it should be out next week or something so maybe by the time you're seeing this vlog it'll be out soon but it'll be a really good episode talking all about Mormonism so Honestly, it's like a topic I get terrified to talk about. You guys know that. But I was like really open on her podcast because that's what it's all about. And I just feel like she's a really good person to like do that with because it's like a safe space, you know? So it's for all my girlies who are interested in that. I'll definitely link it when it comes out. But I need to go in and get my stuff. The class starts in like 10 minutes. And last time I was like kind of late. Like I just walked in with like two minutes to spare and they were like, I don't know. I feel like I was gonna get in trouble. So I'm 10 minutes early this time, which is good. So I'm gonna go inside. Here's the aftermath, honestly. Not as bad as last time. I think it was hotter in the room last time because it was a really full class. It was just super packed in there. I think it made it really hot. Today, there was like a lot of empty spots, so. That was nice. I'm still nice and sweaty. Great workout. I'm gonna go to the tailor now. I'm just gonna pick up like a protein shake, but I have stuff at home to make one, so. I'm gonna just make one at home. Be responsible. I had to buy 
new wraps. That's the word I was looking for is wrap. I had to buy new ones. I didn't have any for rent. So now I just have two pairs, which honestly is kind of nice because they get super sweaty. So I feel like you can't like reuse them a million times. You gotta wash them. So now I have two that I can alternate in between. You guys wanna know the song that I cannot stop with right now? I'm only gonna play a few seconds so I don't get whatever it's called. I always wish that I could like have playlists going while I'm talking and like while I'm driving and stuff, like take you through. Wait, wait, are you allowed to post that on YouTube? It's just that you get demonetized, you don't get paid, or do you get like a strike on your account? I need to look into that because if it's just that you get like, like you don't get paid for the views or whatever, that's not that bad, but I don't want to post something and then I get like a strike or a warning and my account gets, is like at risk of being taken down or something. I'm not sure how it works. That'd be a fun video to just not care about monetization and like show my music that I listen to because I feel like music just adds such an ambiance. It sucks. It sucks that you can't just put any music in your videos. That's honestly why I really like TikTok too, is because you can put such good music to your videos. I wonder if they'll ever like do what YouTube did. I'm gonna make a protein shake. That song, by the way, is like an unreleased, it's like a leaked song, and so it's only like 40 or 30 seconds long. So I just keep listening to that same part over and over. What do we want? What kind of smoothie? Thinking fruity, since I already had like the chocolate cookie, so I don't want like chocolatey vibes right now. Wait, you guys, this is random, but I do have to show you this. This has nothing to do with what I'm making, but um, Leif and I made a pizza last night and we used this pizza oil. Well, I did. Leif doesn't like spice and this has like, it's jalapeno herb olive oil, so it has some spice to it, but I'm kind of a baby with spice and I thought it was delicious, but it's um, Brightland is like the, if you've seen the olive oil brand, they have like really cute branding and I love their olive oil, but this specifically is their pizza oil and it's like, you can drizzle it on top of pizza, that's what I did, or you can put it on the side and like uh, dip your pizza in it. And I think it says on here, it's like it also is great for eggs, toast, pasta, like anything that you just wanna spice up a little bit. It's basically made of olives, jalapeno peppers, or oregano, basil, garlic, rosemary. It's really good. Like, I kinda don't wanna eat pizza without it now. It just adds like such a good flavor. I'm really into it. It truly is a ritual vlog. I love my ritual protein powder as well. Oh, I'm getting a call. Whole free. I was like, we recently sent you a new debit card. It's a spam call. We're going for tropical, a tropical moment. Coconut water. Whoa. Usually it just looks clear. It must be a different kind than I normally get. Orange juice. Pulp free. You're gonna go for Frozen mango. I'm making this for Leif and I, so I'm making two servings. Frozen peaches. Frozen pineapple. Do you know how I know I have a low pain tolerance? I think like one of the ways to test your pain tolerance is being in cold water, touching cold things, like holding ice. I'm pretty sure that's like a measurement. I couldn't be more of a baby with anything cold. I did the cold plunge when I was in Utah, if you saw my TikTok with my family in the lake there, and it was 47 degrees, so that's really cold, but around there. I like, almost gave up. Like, I almost just couldn't do it, because it was so cold and so uncomfortable. I understand that's the point, but like, I felt like I was the only one who was like, wait, let's get out, like this is not okay. And everyone else was just like, chilling there. And then I was just touching that frozen stuff, and I'm like, my fingers! Like, I'm such a baby. Protein powder. I did hear though that for redheads, they like have something about their nerves are closer to the surface. They like feel pain more. I'm kind of a fake redhead, but I like to go with that narrative of that's why it hurts. <laughs> I don't know. Oh wait, I forgot. I wanted to put these in. Super greens. Don't be scared of the arugula. It is, it is scary, but just put it in. You'll be fine. I wonder if I put in too much fruit. Okay. bad with like portions. I feel like I need to learn that I need to put more. Leif, are you okay if it's like yours is a little less? 
Yeah. Um, this looks like a really good consistency. That is so good. Yeah. That's delicious. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to see if you like it. I have to take it out of my Invisalign. Oh. Leif's still on his Invisalign journey. Just had a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment this morning. Go over the Invisalign progress. Good, huh? Very nice. Okay, I feel like I have a lot of stuff to do to get ready for this trip, actually. It's in, did I say two or three days? Well, I have like two days to prep and then I'm leaving on the third day. So I think I'm gonna make a separate vlog prepping for the trip and just like taking you through everything because I feel like this is already long enough to be its own vlog and I don't wanna like put a million things in here. So I am gonna end this vlog right now. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really hoping, well, Hawaii will def definitely be summer feeling, summer vibe, but California, I'm like, I've been so excited to make summer vlogs, you know? And it's been so rainy that I'm like, okay, the summer, the summer feeling hasn't hit me yet, but hopefully it will soon. And I'm really excited to go to Hawaii and get some sun, hopefully. And I just think it'll be a really cool trip. So I'll definitely take you through that too. But I'm gonna do like trip prep and everything in the next vlog. Yeah, I need to like get in the shower right now and do some work stuff that is boring. So I'm gonna go do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you so much. Make sure you're subscribed if you don't wanna miss out. Love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.